physics equation six. This is the last video on physics equations, intensity and distance. So first of all, what exactly do we mean by intensity? Well, the intensity of a wave is how much energy it's carrying. If you were talking about a sound wave, then it's how loud it is. It's how much energy the wave has got. Now, uh, here's something surprising. The further away somebody is, then the quieter they are. This bloke shouting, if he moved further away, then he gets quieter and quieter. You might like to go out in your garden and try this for yourself, okay? Now, its intensity is smaller. Why is the intensity smaller? Because as a wave travels along, it, it, its energy gets spread out more and more and more. Its energy has to cover a bigger area so its energy becomes more and more dilute. The intensity gets less and less and less because the energy of the wave becomes more and more spread out as it travels away. Here's a radio transmitter. You see the waves coming out and they get weaker and weaker as you move further away because the waves spread out more. And we you can, can use this equation here, I equals K over R squared to work out the intensity. Now, notice that it's an inverse relationship. In other words, the intensity gets smaller and it follows what we call an inverse square law. Now, basically that means that if you double the distance, is the intensity half as much? And the answer is no, it's a quarter. If you look at this table going from 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers, the intensity goes from 100 to 25 percent. Going from 20 to 40, the intensity is a quarter as much. A quarter of 25 is 6.3. It follows an inverse square law. In fact, if you just remember, if you double the distance, then the intensity is a quarter. You might just get away with that, okay? A harder question would be to work out the intensity at any distance, and to do that, you'd have to work out a value for K as we shall see. So we'll do these together. An easy example, a radio receiver picks up a strong signal when it's 60 kilometers away. How will the strength of the signal be different if you're 120 kilometers away? Well, if the distance is double, then the intensity will be, now it won't be a half, it will be a quarter. And so a quarter intensity, in other words, it will be 25% of what it was. Here's a harder example. A radio receiver picks up a strong signal when it's 60 kilometers. What will the strength of the signal be at 75? Now to do this, we're gonna to have to work out the value of K, okay? So if first of all, I say K equals I R squared, because I is K over R squared, and I'll say at 60 kilometers, it's 100%, and that gives me my value of K, 360,000. Knowing this, I can then work out the intensity at any distance, and at 75 kilometers, then it's 360,000 divided by 75 squared, which is 64%. Here's a sum for you to do. Again, the first one should be easy. The second one is quite a challenging little one, okay? And the answers are, okay, so for the first one, the distance is three times bigger. So will the intensity be a third? No, it won't, it'll be a ninth because it's one over three squared and a ninth of 100% is 11.1%. 100 divided by nine is 11.1. .1. Part B, uh, I've worked out the value of K, okay? If I say the intensity is 100% at two meters, then that gives me a value of K as 400. Uh, and then next, I said it was quite tricky, is I work out the value of R, where the intensity is 5%, and I get 8.9 meters, which is probably why you don't get a, 
a very good Wi-Fi signal in the garden. <laughs>